Hello everyone. Um, today we will be discussing about uh, structures in C. So what is exactly structure is? Structure is, uh, you can say it's a type of, uh, it's in a type of object which contains a set of data members. So see how it will be if you can use uh, a type of object which contains a set of information about say one employee. Okay, his name, his ID, his sex, his grade, his pay, how much, his basic pay. So, okay, so if you handle these different data members individually, so it will be so, so hectic, so maintain every, each and every variable and it is, it becomes more hectic if you um, work with a set of employees, uh, I mean work with a uh, array of employees, okay, there are 10 employees and you have to declare separate array for employee name, employee sex, employee grade, employee ID. So how would it be nice if you use a type of something like called uh, this is structure. So the structure will encapsulate all your data members within an object and you will use that object and just call all the data members from that object. So if you have worked with your classes, you know class in C++, class in Java, so classes also you can say it is a type of structure which contains data member as well as functions and procedures. Okay, so structure does not con contain procedures, it only works with data members, variables. So we will be uh, working with a program here, it's about uh, employee information, employee ID, employee name, employee sex, employee grade. <coughs> so we are starting with our header file, stdr.h. To declare a structure, we write struct, say employee, say emp, and these are starting and ending of the scope, and here we declare all our data set of data members. So I am working with employee id, emp id, char emp name, say 100. Char emp sets <coughs> single character char emp grade. It's also a single character. So now, if you want to declare a variable of this data type, user data user defined data type, you write suppose you write basic data type. You write int x char y so here you have to write struct emp is the data type and name of the variable is say employee or say a. So how it will be nice that uh, if you uh, convert the struct emp into a very readable and useful name because it's a custom data type so you can give your own name of your data type. This will be a single word for that. So for that I will use type diff. Start TMP, say name of the data type is employee. So now my data type name is employee instead of struct TMP. You can also do this same thing here directly other than writing in two separate lines. Type diff struct TMP, they define your structure and after that employee is the so I don't want to make it complex, so I have to write in two lines. Oh, now my data type is e employee. Now I start with the void main. Here I declare two variables of this data type, employee, suppose A and B. So let us start with it. Now I will take input. <coughs> I will take four input, enter employee ID, definitely I use scanf percent d because it is an integer type emp id. So how the structure the data members are called, 
if the object name is A, you have to obviously give an MP percent when you just take input with a scanf m percent object name is a dot emp id so dot is the uh, operator by which you i mean by which you take input to a data members of a structure so I'll just copy this one and no i'll just copy this one because next one is not scanf for employee name i will be using get yes get s obviously a dot emp name <coughs> so i'll flush the std in buffer otherwise sometimes the get us get skipped without taking input from the user now i'll copy paste this one just make it emp grade sex sorry x great so i already saved this and this is saved in c c t c bin struct one dot c now i'll print the uh, all the variables okay i'll print the structure employee id percent d a dot emp id employee id employee name it will be percent s because it's a string this is percent c and this is also percent c this is six this is great great six put a bit ch because i'll be running it from the tc editor and save it so first let us run the program One, Subranil, M. Okay, so there is again the problem, same problem with the buffer problem. So let's take it and put it here. One. Yes. Okay. So we get the output. So it is all within the same object, the variable. Now the main point is C. Uh, suppose we have taken the input in A. Now we want to assign it uh, with a in a different object. So if you want to do it without a structure, what you have to do, you have to take another four variables and assign each and everything to the four variables. ID to ID, suppose EMP ID assigned to EMP ID one, EMP name assigned to EMP name one, something like that. So I take a variable B here. So what I do, I just assign like B equal to A and just print the B. And let us see what happens after this. What exactly B prints? Pardon. Okay. So B equal to A. One. Take the whole name. M. Yes. So the same thing is printing when I am printing with the B object. So it's so simple. You have just assigned all the values of uh, assigned the object A to object B and print the variable through B. 
so it's become so simple so the next thing is so this is how it is done so now we will take what we will do instead of a single object we take suppose an array of 10 and just print say how many employees scan it percentage uh, let us take suppose int num and we'll take how many employees say num now uh, and take another counter variable i for i equal to 1 i less than equal to num i plus plus and here what we do just make it i Close the loop. The same way, when we print it, just make it AI. You should always check about the case of the because C is very case sensitive close the base so take it 10 place suppose 3 Play ID one should pro M S two R T F S three Deepak M W. See how it is printed. Okay, so we can also use an array, so it becomes so simple to handling all the data members, so employee information. So you can do the same thing, assign it, but you have to assign it with an interview. So you can suppose just run a loop. Here you can do like this, suppose B. Uh, have I declared the variable? No. So if let us first declare it uh, b suppose 10 and here you do b i equal to a i. Now do the same thing with just change it with b. So I'm not running the program again. I just don't want to stretch it long. So um, this is a, a simple, very simple program on structure. So uh, later on, I'll show you more programs on structure uh, as if a linked list. We will use uh, structures to create a linked list. So this is all about this one. I'll just provide the code in my Google Drive so you can download it from there. And so thank you very much do subscribe to my channel it's ACBHRO 190776 and do press the like button if you like this video thank you very much